Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. For you viewer who just told me you're tired, this is what came to my mind for you. Why art thou cast down, O oh my soul? Why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him who is the strength that I need. I shall yet praise him the lifter up of my head. I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. Don't despair. Don't be weary in well-doing. For in due season, you shall reap if you faint not. I say unto you, consider the palm tree. Sometimes we feel like our lives have been dragged through the dirt. And we don't get, where is God in this big picture? Everywhere you look, it seems like dirt is being thrown at you. It seems like you're trudging through mud, muck, mire, filth, disgust, disdain, fatigue. What's it all about, Alfie? Well, listen to this. When you look at, that's why I said consider the palm tree. When you look at a palm tree, how does it begin? It begins down there in the dirt, doesn't it? And it seems like it's never, ever, ever going to break ground because what we don't see on the surface or above the surface, that palm tree is developing a root. And that root is getting stronger, longer, growing deeper, further down, down, down. And that's how you feel is down. But God is sustaining your root. God is nourishing your root. God is deepening your roots. While you feel like your life is being spent, dragged through the dirt. God needs that dirt to sustain you. I'm getting this on the spot. So I really feel like God is trying to let you know this is part of the process. That's why you cannot get off the track. You must stay in the race. The palm tree is steadily growing deeper. Now, I have read on the internet that the palm tree some takes, sometimes takes five to seven years before it starts to get any type of height. Most of those years is spent developing those roots. That root is getting deeper and deeper and deeper. You know why? Because when the wind starts to come and the storms start to blow and things start to go hurly-whirly around its life, it can hold its, its ground. It can stand sure, steadfast, unmovable unshakable as it grows now it's got enough depth to sustain it and as it grows and it may have felt like it was retarded in its growth and development but that palm tree starts to look around and realization takes place 
it starts realizing that everyone it's looking around at, it's looking down because of the height, because of the reach, the developmental growth that has taken place. And before it knows it, it becomes a giant. God will create in you through that mud, through the muck, through the mire, through the dirt, and all the crap that's been thrown at you during the interim period, he will create in you a giant, a spiritual giant, that one day all those that are around you must come to you to help them get their footing. Because they will see you as the most powerful, the most, uh, the strongest, the, 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 the tallest in spiritual stature. And they will feed from your strength that God has given you while you were in the dirt. I'm going to leave you with that thought because I'm about to get emotional. I want God to minister to you. You sit there and talk to the Lord and ask him to lead you to scripture to let you know what he is doing in your life. It may feel bad, baby, but it's a good thing. It's only part of the process.